what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys saw in the title i am super excited because we are going to be trying out some new makeup today we're going to be getting ready for the day and i just hope that everything turns out great because this is the makeup i'm going to be rocking for the rest of the day um so yeah so if you guys haven't already do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell that way you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't be shy. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get ready. So this is not gonna be a like review. It's more gonna be just first impressions. I'm not gonna be checking in or anything like that. But if you want a more in-depth review, an all-day wear test, you know, something like that, go, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. That's why I'm here. Test out makeup spend my money so you don't have to so if you want to know more about a product just go ahead and let me know down below don't be shy basically have a full face of makeup today like new makeup um, I think I just have like two things that are not new which is my concealer and my setting powder but everything else is pretty new so to prime today I am super excited because elf came out with the new acne fighting putty primer so it does have like acne fighting ingredients in it so it has salicylic acid in it, it has 1.8 percent which is an acne treatment so it's going to help you know clear your skin while you're wearing makeup so i don't really know how much i believe in these type of products that are supposed to like you know be skin beneficial and makeup you know you're gonna know so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try as you can see mama could use some help this side is starting to clear up but this side, these are like old, like they're starting to heal, but I could use some, some acne fighting products. I wasn't gonna get this primer because I already have their other three and a crap ton of other primers, um, but I couldn't resist. So I do just scoop it out with my hands. I know not everyone thinks that's sanitary, although my hands are pretty clean, I just, wash them so we're gonna doesn't smell like anything which is good and when I rub my face my face gets more red so and just because it's green I'm not really expecting it to do any color correcting because it does say right on the package that it is sheer and like a universal sheer so it's not gonna add any color to your skin it doesn't claim to color correct it's just more of the ingredients that's gonna help with your acne. So I'm a huge fan of the original. I do like the matte, but I do like the original. I just go for the original a little bit more. I don't really know why. Um, I do have the Lumi one too, but I don't really reach for it as much. So like right off the bat, my skin feels, it feels smooth. It feels like it would be, it's prepped for makeup. Um, it feels a little bit slippery, but I'm sure it'll kind of just settle in. All right. It's not super, I wouldn't say it's super blurring like the putty, like the original putty primer. So yeah, so I mean, first impressions, it's not as, as blurring. I will have to keep using it to see, of course, if it is going to work. So we're gonna wait 30 seconds before applying any foundation. It does say apply a thin layer, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application, allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. It says the Skin Perfecting Putty Primer effortlessly, effortlessly glides over the skin to smooth over imperfection and grip makeup for an all day wear. So that's nice, it's gonna help extend your makeup as well. Um, this primer helps prevent the development of new acne while reducing the appearance of pores and redness due to acne for a clear and poreless complexion all right so yeah all right it's already been 30 seconds so i feel like it did set it doesn't feel as slippery it does feel moisturized like moisturizing but it doesn't feel like and a little tacky but it doesn't feel as slippery as it did so Another new exciting thing from LA Girl is their Tinted Foundation Buildable Natural Finish. Um, and this says sheer to medium coverage, which is what I expected it. It's more like your tinted moisturizer, tinted, you know, your very light coverage summer, what 2021 is really all about. 
Um, this has, let me see, provitamin B5, vitamin E, ginseng root extract, um, hydrating, paraben and fragrance free, lightweight formula, precise tip for mess free application. So I got mine in the shade warm beige. Um, I believe medium beige just looked a little too pink um, in my opinion, so I didn't think that would work. I was going to get the shade Tawny because I feel like Tawny was going to work a little bit better because it is summertime and I am starting to get a tan finally. Um, and because it is more sheer, I figured Tawny, like if it was a little bit too dark, it wouldn't be that noticeable because it's more of a sheer to medium coverage. Um, so instead, I did get the shade Warm Beige which might be a little bit too light now, but probably will be my shade in the winter. So it doesn't say to shake, but I'm gonna shake it. I like shaking like lighter, like more liquid um, products just to make sure that it's mixed well. It doesn't say to shake it though. This is what the packaging looks like. Doesn't this look like something from like maybe Smashbox or something? I don't know, kind of just gives me those vibes, all right. So we're gonna squeeze it out. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be probably too light for me. I'm not really touching my skin. I'm more just kind of like dropping it on. So like, as you can see, like I'm just kind of gliding it on. It has to do a little something for my skin, you know, like I'm not going to waste time applying it if it's not going to do absolutely anything, but I want it to at least kind of even out my complexion a bit. And I'm going to have to get a mirror because it's really hard right now to see. Mm -hmm. So this is with a brush with, of course, usually with a brush, it's not going to absorb as much product as a sponge. This might be a product that you can apply with your hands. I'm going to have to test it out. Some products like this is really nice to apply with just your hands. There's other products where I don't like applying it with my hands and I like to use a brush. Um, so yeah, so I mean, it, I feel like it evened it out a little bit, right? Like there's still some redness around my nose. Of course, blemishes are still showing, but I think it, it did give me a very hydrating base. Um, and I feel like it's not super light, like it didn't affect my skin complexion as, as far as making me lighter. Um, but I think if I had a good tan going on, I would need a definitely a lighter or darker shade. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. I think if you get these, this type of product, you want more lighter, sheer coverage um, because you're just going to be wasting a lot of your product just to get the coverage that you want. So don't get it expecting more coverage. You know what I mean? Like, I think if you're just a higher coverage girl, don't waste time on these like tinted hydrator foundations and then use like half the bottle to get the coverage that you want. So I'm just using my e.l.f. camo concealer sponge just to kind of see. Uh, doesn't really do much. Just kind of just soak the majority of it up, which is what I thought I was going to do. Alright. Okay. Well, I was expecting a lighter coverage day anyways. So this is what my skin is looking like. It's looking glowy. Um, it definitely feels tacky. Um, so I'm going to give it a second. I'm gonna see if it's gonna set down. I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm just gonna use a lighter coverage concealer. This is the Hide and Peak Concealer from Morphe 2. And I'm gonna, I do apply a little bit more of this concealer because it is a little bit more sheer coverage. All right, so I applied my concealer. I also set just my under eye because we're gonna be going in with a, another cream product. So to set my face, I just used my Pretty Vlogger setting powder, not my face, my eyes. Um, I need to continue to drink my coffee because super excited for this. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I got mine in the shade Honey Drip. 
I have watched already a couple of reviews on this product and it does seem to be a little bit more forgiving, lighter in pigment. Um, as far as like not lighter as in shades but you know what I mean like there are some darker shades but the pigment itself is a little bit lighter where it's buildable so the shade tan lines which I thought was going to be my shade in person just seemed a little bit too light so I did want something that was going to show up especially in the summertime um, so yeah so I am so excited to try these again I wasn't gonna get it I was like I don't need any more cream bronzers but here we are so it's in it's the exact same size as the putty blushes which honestly i don't mind yes you're going to use more of it because it's going to be a more like more surface of your face that you're going to be putting this on versus the blushes where it's just going to be here but rather companies come out with smaller products because honestly you might go through it pretty fast and if you do it's like what six bucks go ahead and buy another one but another thing is like we everything we buy is so like big and size and pan and then you have it for years and years and years you never use it up you end up throwing it or decluttering it so i rather have something small that where i'm gonna use it up versus something too big and it's just gonna go bad i usually use this brush for cream blush but i'm gonna use it today for my cream bronzer just because it fits perfectly like in there so i'm just gonna kind of i love their cream bronzers like that quad that they have i absolutely love it all right so i'm gonna oh i think i picked a perfect shade i like it now i will probably use this product on more of a little bit more of a coverage base just because with my like hyperpigmentation and you know acne and everything certain products does look a little splotchy but i can usually tell when it's the product itself or my skin underneath um and this is definitely like in this case it's definitely just my skin so and we're just kind of really going to bronze up the face because this tinted foundation is just a little bit too light. Wow. I'm so glad I went with this shade because I was like, oh, is this going to be my shade? bit too much on your face just kind of use your sponge and kind of soak up some of the extra and my my face itself like where I didn't put the bronzer of course is still tacky so definitely going to need to set my face all right I can put my hair back um so I'm just gonna kind of go over my face and just kind of set a little bit I don't like when my foundations are so tacky that they're super sticky on the face I don't mind if they're slightly 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 tacky and sticky if I can stick a piece of paper to my face then that's too much so I'm actually gonna use this as my highlighter and I kind of wanted to use it first kind of forgot about it um, and I don't know how because this is what this is one of the products that I was so excited to try this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. Um, so yeah, so they did not have my shade in, I think it was light. They only had it in fair to light. So we are definitely going to use this as a highlighter today, not like an all over, because you can use this as your primer, your concealer, your highlighter, and your BB cream. So <laughs> I like that you can use this as different things so if maybe you want your skin to be a little bit more glowy underneath just put this all over your face and then you, whatever you want on top i don't think i would use this much as a concealer um but we are going to use this as a highlighter for sure all right and now to get the product going so 
gonna use this and kind of just blend it. You can see like it gives like a really nice glow, which is so pretty. So as a highlighter, I think I could definitely pull this off. Um, if I was just gonna rock this all day and nothing on top, I think this would be 100% too light for me. But if I was gonna put it as a primer and then put a foundation on top, then I don't think it's really gonna matter. Pretty, oh my God. So I am definitely more excited to use this. Um, I right now use the Becca, I think Skin Perfector is what it's called. I do have the full size of it, so when that finishes, I'm not gonna be able to repurchase it because Becca is gonna be no more. So it's nice that I'm gonna have this maybe as an option. I know a lot of people are referring to this as the Charlotte Tilbury, um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this product here I can't think of it's I can't think of the freaking name I can't think of the name right now but yeah so it definitely does give you a like natural glow so if you do like cream highlighters I think it is a nice product it is a little bit pricey so it's about $13 I don't know how much this was at Ulta because I did get it at Ulta which shout out to Ulta for helping me get my hands on some of these products um, that was super nice of them but yeah, so there we go. I didn't have an issue blending it out on top of my powder because I did lightly set my face, but I am loving it. So next we are going to just add some blush. So this is a blush from Essence. It's not new, but it's new to me. It is in the shade Bespoke, shade 20. It is more of like a bronzy color, so I thought it would be perfect for our little glow that we have going on right now but I do like this blush I feel like it just kind of gives you again it's really pretty for summer it's going to give you that bronzy look to your skin um, and because it's kind of bronzy it kind of makes you look sun-kissed and like it looks like I was out in the sun right right like it doesn't it look like I just came back from the pool so I am loving how this look is coming out right now it's just so summery and just mm, so juicy for my eyes today I am super excited to use this palette oh my god I freaking love it it is the essence out in the wild eyeshadow palette and oh my god this if this is not me in a palette which i know i say that a lot so obviously you know it's a neutral palette but look at this guys let me take this paper off this palette i mean it 100 percent i feel like goes with this like theme it's like you know palm trees summery like bronzy it is just so beautiful and I just cannot wait to just dig my like hands into this palette. So I think for today, I'm just gonna do like a very neutral look and play with it only because I'm going to work today. But I like how there is a little bit of color. Like you have these nice like greens, like this one is like a pale green up here and then this one has a nice green and then this dark shade right here actually looks like it is like a green as well. And then you have like your warm tones, but you also have some cool tones as well. So I don't know, I, I just think this is a beautiful palette. I'm gonna have everything linked down below so you can easily find it as well as the prices. All right, so the first shade I'm gonna go into is this shade right here. It's like a more neutral, um shade and i'm just gonna put this in the eye in the crease and i did not clean off my brush so i feel like my brush has some glitter from yesterday's eyeshadow so that's great it does kind of in a way make me feel like i look like i didn't sleep you know like this isn't a shade that i will be able to put on my lower lash line just because it kind of just I like that look like I do like the color I just feel like it's a little bit too like dark circle color on me next I'm just gonna actually dip my finger into the shade right here it's like a it looks like a I don't know like a gold like a light 
gold color. So we're gonna use this shade. Um, it's gonna blend away some of that extra shimmer on in the crease. So I'm just gonna apply this darker brown because I feel like this here, maybe like this will kind of just look more like a lower liner. So I'm just gonna apply this darker brown. It's almost like a day to night palette. There is some fallout with the shimmer. So just keep that in mind. You might want to do your eyes first. I am going to take this shade. I do like that they have like a matte highlight shade in this palette. So I'm going to just kind of Put it right in the inner corner just because there's already some sparkle there from that first shimmer so it's just going to kind of brighten it up and then i didn't do my brows yet but i'm going to add a little highlight right underneath my brows just because i know if i wait i'm probably going to forget to do this so i do want to try this as well it is the la girl glitter glitter hopic i don't know it's a glitter topper and i got mine in the shade hollow glam um, and yeah, I just want to see like how how is it as a glitter topper? Like is it like am I gonna need a glitter glue? Am I gonna need Is it gonna go everywhere? So it just looks so pretty and I don't even know Ooh, It is definitely Chunky and I don't think this is gonna go with this look, but we're gonna play with it anyways and I'm just going to kind of focus it more. Oh, that looks so pretty. 100% does not go with this look. I'm not flipping you guys off, but look at that. Oh my God. I do feel it like falling out. So maybe if you use a glitter glue, it might work a little bit better. Like it's going to stick. Um because I do feel it like falling out as I'm applying it. So next, I'm going to try this Essence Liner. It is a super precise eyeliner, long lasting and waterproof. So we are going to give this a try. I don't think this is new. I, don't, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not new. I just haven't tried it before. So we're going to do a little bit of liner. Perfect, okay. So I do like this liner. I feel like I did my liner super quick and it really didn't give me an issue at all. So I don't know how it's gonna dry down. Um, the glitter is showing through the liner because of course it's glitter, that's usually what it does. Um, but next we are going to actually Dun, dun, dun. Next, we are going to try the e.l.f. Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. So I'm excited to keep trying e.l.f. mascaras, like their newer ones anyways, and keep seeing if I'm, there's one that I like. I do not like their Lash, was it Lash Loud mascara, like the copper tube one. Not a fan of that one. That one just smudged so much on me and it really didn't do much for my eyelashes. So I'm not saying that everyone else is like lying or whatever. Everyone's eyelashes are different, but for my lashes, it didn't do much. Um, and I do have mascaras that do stuff to my lashes. So it's not like I have very like super, super crappy lashes where no mascara in the world does anything for them. My lashes are nice when the mascara is a good mascara. So I do love the packaging though. Like I love this color. So, um, and of course I got mine in the shade black. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. But this is supposed to be, it says get big mood energy with this dramatically volumizing, lengthening and lifting mascara, clean and vegan. This formula is infused with Jehovah oil to leave lashes feeling nourished. An hourglass shape brush with 250 interwined bristles lifts and separates lashes creating an intense bigger and bolder look with staying power that gives you long wearing lash energy 
this mascara is a big mood I decluttered their last mascara because it wasn't a favorite of mine this one is a pretty like big brush I feel but it is definitely hourglass so let's see it will be hard to see with the liner You can see my lashes right there compared to right there so and that's just like one coat it does really good at like separating I'm not seeing much volume okay okay big mood you can definitely see my lashes over top of the liner, which is great. Um, so I, first impressions, I don't know how it's gonna wear, but first impressions, I do like what this mascara is doing for my lashes vers versus the Lash Loud mascara. Cause like I said, it really didn't do much. It was a nice mascara to use before falsies because it didn't like make it hard to apply my falsies because it didn't do much to my lashes. This one on the other hand, I like so far. And I'm sure I can go in probably with a third coat, but we're going to leave it at two. And then I'm going to go in and do my lower lashes, which I don't know how this is going to be. Actually, that wasn't hard. Because of the brush being so big, I thought it was going to be a little bit difficult. So good. So I'm hoping this mascara wears nice throughout the day. I'm hoping it doesn't smudge or flake a whole lot. Um, because I really do like it and I would love to have a mascara that I love from elf and so far like the big papa mascara is one that I finally love from wet and wild um, so I need one from elf that I absolutely love and like I said you can see my lashes and you can see them above the liner like I'm liking this mascara I'm super picky with my mascaras lately and this one is giving me big mood vibes Next, it's going to be eyebrows and then lips, and then we will be done. So I'm going to be trying out the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Now, I have tried the actual blade part already. My eyebrows are not done or well shaped, so I'm not going to be using this part today. Um, when I bought it, my hair was darker, like I didn't dye it yet. Um, and I got it in a shade to match that hair, which was neutral brown or neutral nana. Um, and it was way too late. So it's definitely gonna work for my hair now. Um, but I have not tried the other end. So all this makeup today is super affordable except for my brow pencil. So I'm sorry, but we are gonna give this a try. I do like this brow pencil though. I feel like I'm gonna be I feel like I'm gonna be light for a while um, I know last time I was only light for the summer and then I dyed my hair back to dark and like the fall but I do plan on being light for so a bit so this shade will definitely work so I do really like this it's not too thin where it's like breaking um, but it's thin enough where it's gonna give you like those still like those fake hair strokes so I really like it and if you really want the fake hair strokes you have the blade or the like pen on the other end so I really like this pen so I was hoping that I would like both both ends because I'm paying full price for both ends so next I'm gonna use the revolution this is the clear brow gel brow fixer so i saw this in target and i thought why not give it a try i've been starting to like more clear brow gels than tinted um i like my tinted for like the days where i'm in a rush and i don't have really time to fill them in i do like the tinted but here lately i've been finding that when i do fill them in and then i use a tinted brow gel it's just a little bit too bold for me like i don't know i'm just starting to get into more of the natural brow super super clear as you can see and let's see what it does to these brows I like how small 
the brushes because you can really get in there but i feel like after <laughs> i feel like this this is gonna look really gross after a while because the color from your brow pencil is gonna get in there I feel like it's a nice brow gel to kind of just take the powdery look from your brows and to set them in place if you're just kind of setting them normally. But if you're going to like really pull them up and do the fluffy brow look, I don't think that this is going to work just because it's really not pulling up my brow hairs. It's kind of just laying them down flat, like setting them. Um, so I don't know, we'll give that some time to dry. I don't really do the fluffy brow too much just because of the way my brows are. I try it, I love the look, but with my brows, they're just not a fan of it. They just don't cooperate. So I, I think I'm gonna enjoy this and like it, but I think if you are a fluffy brow girl, I don't think that's gonna do much for you. Next, we are just gonna apply some lipstick. This is from Essence a lot of essence right um this is in the shade 05 legendary i do have two other other lipsticks but i heard juicy jazz i think talk about this shade and so i went out and got it and she is also the reason why i went out and bought this liner as well the super precise eyeliner so these two things are because of juicy jazz here on youtube we all love her she's great if you do not watch her definitely go ahead and check out her channel. I'll leave her channel actually linked down below and you can go ahead and check her out. I love her videos and I feel like we are kind of like state sisters in a way. She doesn't know it. She doesn't even know me. I'm not saying we're friends or anything, um, but we both live in Pennsylvania. So that's cool. So, ooh, this is so pretty. I feel like this is the shade that I was going for when I bought the other two and they ended up not being that shade <laughs> like they ended up not being this shade I still like the shades I got but this is the shade that I was going for wow I do like this it's like a per it is like a perfect nude because it's not too warm but it's not too cool um yeah I love that so I also picked up this Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. I do have the clear one, thanks to Juicy Jazz. Um, and I do really like it and love it. Um, but I saw this shade, it's like a, almost like a purple brown with glitter, I don't know. So I thought it would be a nice um, lip gloss to put on top. So let's see. And this lipstick, I think this is a, let me see trying to see if this is like I don't think this is a like matte semi matte so it's still gonna have like it's not gonna be matte matte where it's gonna like dry down completely but it's gonna have like a nice sheen to it which I don't mind and then oh look at this lip gloss I know I said before I don't like lip glosses that have like glitter in it but you can't really see the glitter and you can't feel the glitter it's more oh my god these I love the way these smell. They smell like like candy, like fruit candy. Mm, it smells so good. Oh my God, guys, look at that freaking shine. Like, come on. And yeah, you really, like the glitter is so fine where it's not like a metallic look or it's not like chunky glitter and you don't feel the glitter either. So quickly, my thoughts on everything. Just a very quick review, I guess you can say. It's not really much of a review. So for the primer, um, I mean, I like it. There's nothing bad. I like. I don't, there's nothing bad I have to say about it right now. Um, it's my first time wearing it. So again, it's really hard to give like my full review on these products, but I really do like it as far as I, I don't think I had any issues with my makeup or anything like that. I don't think I had any issues with anything that I tried out today. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna keep trying it, see if it really works. Um, and we will see this tinted foundation. Um, not mad that I bought it. I really do like it for those lighter coverage days. Um, I definitely think you can tell I have a little bit of something on my skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing completely nothing, but it is definitely more of a sheer to, I would say sheer to light coverage. 
if you're gonna do medium you're probably gonna use like half the tube at that point just go out and buy like a normal foundation um, but I do love the packaging and everything and yeah so I'm excited that I tried and bought that product um, and then for bronzer and blush I love both of these products this is the essence blush like I mentioned and I freaking love the bronzy look it gave me and so far I am really liking this bronzer from elf so I am just con so excited to continue to try continue to use these products the Maybelline four in one glow perfector i didn't use it as my primer today just because i knew this was already kind of gonna be hydrating and glowy um and i wasn't going for that like tin man look but i did use it as my like highlighter and i do like the natural glow that it gave me so i will continue to play with that and if you want more of an in-depth review on it go ahead and let me know I'll already let you know that i do like the brow pencil um so far i like the eyeliner it looks like for the most part it dried down matte it doesn't look it doesn't look shiny um right now i am loving the mascara so we will see how it wears for the rest of the day this here um yeah it doesn't feel like it has like a hard hold on my brows so again it's something for those like natural you know makeup days if you just want to kind of get that powder look out of your brows set them a little bit it doesn't feel like hairspray brows and they do feel set but not like crunchy so if you don't like crunchy then you'll probably enjoy this but if you want something that's really going to hold those brows up it's probably not going to be this but i think the packaging is cute and i love like the frosty bottle so super cute so the la grill topper i do like it i do feel though that you do need to use a little bit like of a sticky primer or glitter glue um and this palette here for the most part i think is freaking beautiful so like this green is just so pretty this bronzy shade i'm excited to wear as well like oh uh, look at that so yeah i am super excited for this palette as well when i saw it i'm just like i need to have it and i think the only other things i tried are these lip products which i do love both of them so much oh my god my lips are so shiny i am loving i feel like i'm back in the gloss game i know a lot of people were starting to get back into the gloss game and i was still with my liquid mattes like i still was in that i feel like i'm a little bit behind because i get on the trend a little bit behind and then i'm use and then i stick to it a little bit longer than others and i feel like people been back to wearing glosses and stuff again and i'm just now starting to love the glossy look again so yeah that is everything guys again thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that button and i will see you in the next video because there are so many more videos to come of first impressions and one look brands so if you love makeup and you love beauty hang around Mwah. Bye!